I suppose when the dust settles on an incident like this, for want of a better phrase, people say, was there any way of predicting something like this? Well, uh, we're not right now in the position to be able to predict. Uh, science has advanced uh, a lot and we understand how stress accumulates and transfer from one fault into another. But uh, we don't know when it's going to happen. We know it's likely, we know which faults are active, but uh, the question of the million, I suppose, is uh, when and that we're not in the position to answer at the moment. Do we know exactly what's happened here? Look, you're the expert on this kind of stuff. It's probably at this point that I should throw my hands up and say I wasn't necessarily always the best in class when it came to geography and certainly volcanology and all of this stuff. So what has exactly happened here? Because these are massive quakes and aftershocks. <laughs> Well, um, all, all, the, uh, all that area, all of uh, Turkey, um, Syria, all, all, a lot of the Middle East is a well-known area uh, of uh, frequent and very large and very destructive uh, earthquakes. And uh, what happens is that the movement of the plates has been uh, creating an accumulation of energy that has been released very suddenly and very shallowly, um, important, which is very important. And the shaking of the ground uh, has affected all that a very large area where buildings um, haven't been able to withstand the, the, the tremors. Um, the problem, I mean, these two earthquakes respond precisely to a long time with uh, with energy accumulating in this fault and not being released and this means that uh, the, the pr this means a really big problem uh, for for um for for all these um zones um, that have all this energy and they have all these uh, potentially large earthquakes uh, that has happened in this case and will carry on occurring. Uh, we don't know when, but within that uh, fault line. Uh, indeed. And um, just to reiterate as well, do you expect there to be more tremors taking place shortly, the aftermath of this? Do we think this is it now? Well, uh, typically after very large earthquakes, you have a period of, uh, of aftershocks, of, of tremors, and it settles. And we're hoping that this will be the case uh, in this earthquake. So if things follow the normal trends, the most frequent trends, uh, they should be dying down and, and the, the ground should be stabilizing. And therefore, um, this, this should be, yes, they, they should be finishing okay. now. Dr. Carmen, thank you very much. Dr. Carmen Solana, their reader in volcanology and risk communication.